Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is subtotaling in Excel. Now, when we use subtotaling, we're going to actually use the worksheet labeled pivot tables. Uh, we're going to subtotal that data before we go into pivot tables. So make sure that you open up the pivot table worksheet inside the workbook uh, to find the data that we're going to work with. So we talked a little bit about grouping. Um, and to kind of go along with grouping inside that outline box in the data tab, so data tab, we have an outline grouping area, we have group, ungroup, and we want to talk now about subtotaling. Subtotaling is a really great thing. And, uh, you know, the easiest thing I would say to equate it to would be when you go to a restaurant and you pay your bill, what you'll see is you'll have a subtotal at the bottom of your receipt. You know, you'll have item one, two, three, and then it'll add those things up. You have the ability to add in a tip, and then the grand total comes at the end. Well, you have the ability to do a very similar thing using Excel without having to put any math in at all. So let's take a look at our data set, and I'll show you exactly how easy subtotaling can be. However, um, if not done properly or if steps aren't put together to make sure that it works the way you want it to, you could, you could get burned a little bit. So let's take a look. Here we have some dates, we have some sales reps, items sold, uh, the amount that they've made and so on. So if we wanted to know how much money was generated by each individual sales rep, okay? Now we know that you could do a sum if. However, doing a sum if is gonna require you to do a sum if for each of the individual sales reps, and that may just not be time conducive for what you're doing. So that's where subtotaling can really play a pivotal role. So here's what we're going to do. In order to subtotal information, you first need to sort by the information that you want to subtotal, okay? And I'll explain that in a minute. So what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to sort by the sales rep's name. And what that's gonna do for you is it's gonna group all the sales reps together, and that is very important for subtotaling, okay? So the next step, we're gonna go into the data tab of the ribbon, okay? So we're in the data tab of the ribbon. We're gonna to go to the outline group, and we're gonna select subtotal. Now, let's take a second and go through what these subtotal boxes are, what these little individual options are. And then I'll explain to you why you had to sort it first, okay? And to understand it, you really just have to look at this first option here. And the way I explain it is that Excel cannot read. Um, Excel's not great with text. It can do some things with text, but it cannot read. It can only match, okay? So when we perform a subtotal, it's asking, does this match this? Does this one match this one? Does this one match this one? And when it sees a break in continuity, when this no longer matches the next item, it's going to view that as a break. And wherever there's a break, that's where it's going to subtotal. Okay. So when you look at this box up here, it's going to say at every change in, we're going to say change in sales rep. And by doing that, that's going to make sure that whenever there's a break in continuity, it's going to perform an action. So at every break in sales rep, we're going to add a sum. The sum that we're going to add is of the sales total. Right, sales total right there. We click OK. Okay, now don't fear the pound signs. That's from an earlier lesson. But all that means is that the numbers in the cells are a lot larger than the displayable space. Shortcut to fix that, just double click right up in between column F and G, for example, or wherever that is, and it plugs it in. Now, here's what's really neat about subtotaling. Okay, um, it automatically outlines as well, it automatically groups things together. So there's a grand total for my data set. Okay. There is a breakdown by each individual sales rep. And if I want to know the official data, I can just click right in there. And I can shortcut it by clicking the buttons here, here, or here. Subtotaling is a beautiful thing. I will tell you that it's one of the more, more commonly missed items that I see out there in the real world and on exams, just in, in class. Uh, and that, I think, is because people forget to sort accordingly, not understanding that Excel can't read. And even when you use count if or sum if, if you think about it, Excel is only matching. Okay, so that's really the moral of that story. Excel doesn't read, it really only matches. So if you want to remove subtotals after you're done, and remember this is a non-destructive management tool, all you gotta do, jump up into subtotals, go to remove all, right back where you started, that's it. Subtotals, nice, neat, and to the point.